Hey guys, I'm beginning a new series called Engines of Metra. I know there's already an Engines of Metra, but I'm gonna copy it off. Let me do, the, the engine I'm gonna do is the classic F40PH. We have to go back in time though. Amtrak had faulty equipment like SDP40Fs and P30CHs. These were due to the rough riding and the kind of trucks they were designed as freight service. Amtrak then had to buy a replacement with many F40PH de F40PHRs built with SD40 SDP40F parts until buying regular F40PHs, which were a success on Amtrak. On the other hand though, Chicago's Metra had a few kind of good equipment with F40Cs and a few E units owned by them and by the Burlington Northern which are still in preservation today. They need a replacement, buying many hundreds of F40PH-2s. These locomotives came equipped with a Nathan P54. Here's an example. Even later, Metro bought even more F40PHs, now designated Dash 3. These came equipped with Nathan P5s in the original blue paint scheme, and then the new paint scheme with K5LAs and P5s. Since the E units were still around because they were so reliable, Metro needed a replacement for them. They bought hundreds of F40PHM Dash 2s and then buying F40PHM Dash 3s. These came equipped with Nathan P5 horns, and most of them had the original blue logo, and some of them had the new logo. They were able to replace the E units, and some are still in preservation today. All the kinds of F40PHs were also used on push-pull push operations on Amtrak and Metro, and all the other railroads that bought the locomotive. These would be used on uh, push-pull operations using their cab cars that Metro had. Some units still have the blue paint scheme, but most of them now have the new Metro's new paint scheme. Well, it's something how these locom Metro has over 100 locomotives, and they still use them today. And almost one of the only railroads still at F40PH, since Amtrak retired most of their F40PHs, but made them into non-power control units. That's the end of our video. Bye.